waiting line and capacity. Based on the process rule, we made the following assumptions. We assume car's inter-arrival time is approximated by an exponential distribution with a mean of three minutes. The length of waiting line is five cars, and two cars can fit between the car placing an order and another car at the pay and the pickup station. To illustrate the assumptions, here is the simulation map. We decided that it was important to focus on resolving the rush hours bottleneck problem. And setting two cars distance as buffer is critical to allow time for the kitchen to prepare the food. We're not going to lose these two cars anyway, as they have already paid for the food and are already in the loop. We use the SimQuick to do scenario simulation. In this slide, you see how we set up the model. The time units per simulation is 120 minutes, which is two hours of the rush hours time. And the number of simulation is 100. And we set two working stations to calculate customer in the pipe. One is the order station. The other one is the pickup station. And kitchen is parallel. We also set buffers. The capacity of a drive through lane is five cars, and we set it as a pre-order buffer. And the second buffer, it's very important to set two cars between order and the pickup station to allow kitchen to prepare for the food. Based on different service time of two stations, we simulated on six scenarios. Each scenario's order time is decreasing. In the first scenario, the average order time is four minutes with one minute standard deviation, and the average pickup time is three minutes with one minute as standard deviation. Scenario one and two are based on using human to take order and a payment. The order time is longer than scenario three, four, five, and six. In scenario one, the bottleneck is the order station as it takes longer time than pickup time. To overcome the bottleneck, we replace the human server with electronic automatic ordering system. The order service time decreases from four to three and then to two and 1.5 minutes. When the order time decreases, the service level increases and the object unable to enter the process also decreases. Across the board, option three and four are the most optimal options and solutions, with a service level of 96% and a reasonable utilization rate. The waiting time, mean cycle time is 4.29 and 3.28. On simulation results, we recommend option three and four to achieve a 96 service level during the rush hours. We use automatic ordering machine to boost the capacity and overcome the order station's bottleneck. If the bottleneck is in a pickup station, we can increase the capacity of the kitchen to expand the capacity of the pickup station. The mean waiting time is shorter than the national drive through service time. Option five and six can be adopted when demand increases dramatically. The drive through design is intentionally made flexible as it allows us to adjust the capacity for both stations to accommodate different scenarios. Last but not least, as it shows in our process flow, we can develop a mobile order app to further relieve the capacity pressure of the drive through lane and set a separate area for curbside pickup. This would create an additional revenue channel. With that, I'm handing this over to my colleague to walk you through the inventory management process. Thanks.